BJP's Nupur Sharma has been in the eye of the storm ever since she allegedly made controversial comments about Prophet Muhammad during a TV debate. Apart from her, another Saffron Party leader, Nabin Jindal, has been receiving flags reportedly after he wrote offensive content against Islam on his Twitter handle. The incident has triggered hot debates in Muslim countries and has apparently prodded the religious sentiments of Muslims across the world. Bharatiya Janata Party on Sunday suspended both the leaders, Nubur Sharma and Naveen Jindal, from the party's primary membership following the controversy. The BJP also distanced itself from the controversy and released a statement strongly denouncing insults of any religious personalities of any religion and underscoring every citizen's right to practice any religion of their choice. The remarks came amid a brewing debate over the controversial comments. After Nubar Sharma was suspended from the Saffron Party, she unconditionally withdrew her remarks that she had made on Prophet Muhammad. In a statement, Nubar stated for the past many days, Mahadev was being insulted and disrespected continuously. It was mockingly being said that it was not shivaling but a fountain. The Gyan Vyapi shivaling was also ridiculed by comparing it to roadside signs and pools in Delhi, she said. I could not tolerate this continuous insult and disrespect towards our Mahadev and I said some things in response to this. If my words have caused discomfort for or hurt the religious feelings of anyone whatsoever, I hereby unconditionally withdraw my statement. It was never my intention to hurt anyone's religious feelings, Sharma said in her apology. The first case against Nubar Sharma was lodged on May 28 at the Paidoni police station in Mumbai. She reportedly made derogatory remarks on May 26th. Two more first information reports were filed on Tuesday, one at Hyderabad Cyber Crime Police Station and the other at Bivanti City Police Station in Mumbai, allegedly for hurting religious sentiments. Meanwhile, Gulf countries, including Saudi Arabia, have condemned remarks on Prophet Muhammad. The controversy erupted amid Vice President Venkaya Naidu's tour of Qatar. Saudi Arabia described BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma's comments as insulting and called for respect for beliefs and religions. Riyadh is the latest to condemn the remarks. Qatar, Kuwait and Iran summoned the Indian envoy on Sunday amid widespread calls on social media for a boycott of Indian goods in the Gulf. India has said that the remarks were views of fringe elements and did not reflect the government's opinion. The government also highlighted that the ruling BJP had taken action against the leaders, one of whom was the party's national spokesperson and the other its media chief. The decision was welcomed by Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. The tension over the remarks had spiked in BJP-ruled Uttar Pradesh. 40 people were injured in Kanpur when two groups clashed after Friday prayers. The Congress trashed the BJP statement saying it is nothing but a blatantly counterfeit pretense which is evidently farce and another sham attempt at damage control. Taking to Twitter, Congress leader Shashi Tharoor tagged a post which said that supermarkets in Gulf countries including Saudi Arabia and Bahrain removed Indian products after insulting remarks were made by ruling party leaders. This incident and the controversies that followed should be a lesson to learn for fringe elements in any party or any organization so that they don't make such careless statements that can hurt religious sentiments of people across the world.